So it's been a little while since Builder World last came out with an update. And what that means is that we're gonna have to start getting creative with the stuff that we already have. And today, we're doing just that. So today, we're checking out a mechanic that is originally not even a part of the game. And that is making any block invisible. Yeah, guys. Today, we're gonna be building a working invisibility cloak for any build. Which is pretty much, you press a button. You might be fl flying a fighter jet. Coo -coo. Press the button. Boom, invisible. Get rid of me, Tom. Make me invisible. Dude, it is going to be absolutely insane. I just loaded this build right here. And I actually think that this would make for a pretty good build to do this with. Because, guys, it's a plane. And I don't want to be detected, man. If I get detected with my plane, it's going to be a catastrophe. I want to be able to properly sneak around and no one to notice me. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to Kova101 for actually giving me the idea to do this. I saw him build something like this. And uh, it is very, very sick. I'll actually link this post down in the description. You should go check it out. Give it an upvote and at least watch the video because it's so, so clever. But yeah, we're going to be trying to do exactly that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with just a build, you know? And I think the build that I actually am going to start off with, I mean, I actually have options. So yeah, guys, first of all, let's just get this out of the way. This is something that you could do to any build. There's no build that this can't be done to. Like, you can literally make any block and build about invisible now. Like, you can literally place anything. As wide as the imagination is. Here, select all this. If you set it to transparency 25, right? And as you can see, it looks like all these blocks are still here. It looks everything is normal. Normal. This is just a mechanic that is a part of Roblox, and it's actually really clever. If I right now place a glass block right here, and as you guys can see, as I scale this block, everything disappears, guys. This is just a part of Roblox, and we're going to be exploiting this mechanic to make an, a working invisibility cloak. It's going to be sick. So let's start off with a little bit of experimenting, guys. So if I, for example, right now place myself a plastic block, and I make it 25% transparent to be able to do the glitch, as you guys see, I can look through it, and I don't want to have no see-through built. That would suck. So let's see how many of these 25% transparency blocks I have to put inside of each other for it to become completely opaque. As you guys can see, right now, we have all kinds of blocks. But if I actually scale this down, as you can see, it is getting more and more dark. And I think we can get this to the point where it's pretty much not even see-through. So I can kind of faintly see through it still. What? Okay, this is three, so let's try four. Okay, this is four, and I can very, very faintly see through it. So I think with five, it is literally exactly perfect. Yeah, you can't see anything through that, bro. But guys, look at this. This looks like a normal block now. But look at how freaky this is, guys. If I now place myself a glass block right there, it becomes transparent at times. Look at this. Place a block on top of it. Skill is zero. Right here, you just have a block now that's like invisible on the top. There is some very cool stuff you can do. All right, so we know that the number is five, which is exactly all that we needed to know to be making this beautiful, absolutely perfect invisibility cloak. So let's start off with making our build that we're actually going to be turning invisible. So the one that I want to do, I think, is this one right here. I want to do this plane. I think it would actually make for a really, really cool invisible build build because you can just be flying your plane press a button and you'll go from just being an average plane to literally going invisible so yeah i think this is what i want to do it with so all that i'm gonna have to do right here guys and i'll show you exactly what you got to do i'm just gonna be uh doing a dupe glitch right here so i'm gonna place this right here and i'm actually gonna need to use like two save slots here so i actually have three i'm fine all right so all i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna place a chair right here just like that and for some reason when i built this i built it on the ground so i'm actually gonna have to pull it up a bit all right baby let's go so yeah by placing a piston extending it and then placing a block on top of the piston head putting it into the wall you can actually launch and then all you need to do is click the piston and as you can see now the, the build has actually been pulled up and all i can do is just anchor it and that's perfect so i can now actually delete these two things perfect and one thing i'm actually going to go ahead and delete real quick but not after placing a mesh rotation block on it is some of the things that i don't want a ton of but actually wait no you know what no i think I'll, I'll show you guys how you can actually do this proper okay never mind just take your build sit in the chair and then make sure this is actually very important is that you save your build right now and all you need to do is place a chair inside of your belly just like that Select all unanchored. And as you can see, everything is a little bit crazy. So just turn off collision. It makes everything a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm having a couple of small issues with actually transporting the build. So this time I'm just going to resave it. But this time I'm placing a huge wooden block over every part that I can't. That, that is like being transported. It should make things a lot less laggy. Yeah. So yeah, guys, what we're going to do right now is a, is a little simple dupe. Okay. A lot of people already know how to do this. I'm not going to thoroughly explain it. But pretty much all you want to do is quickly go out to over here. Um, I think past the waterfall, you should be fine. There. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you're going to load everything back in. And what should happen is you just get an exact duplicate of the current build that you have. All right. So all I'm going to do right now is select all and turn back on collision. And all, all I have to do is... Actually, wait. Okay, collision's still off. <laughs> it makes life easier. Sit in the chair just like so. Collision back on. And now, guys, what we're going to do is we're just going to save this and then load it back in. So as you can see, we've now done... We now, we now have two right here. So we're going to just repeat this exact same process two more times. So that way we have a total of six, which is, as we learned enough 
it's more than five. So if it's more than five, you're good. It will be not see-through. Load it in, baby. All right, so when you have to do one more, when you have one left. So currently, this right here is four parts. If I save right now, right now I have four parts. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save it to another save slot. And this is just going to be a temporary file. So yeah, I have it saved right now. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to reload the first one. And then guys, the one that we're going to reload is the temporary one that we just saved. So that way, right there, we have four saves. Plus two is six. We don't want to go too far overboard. All right, now we just got to sit in the chair just like so. And and boom, baby! There it is! Okay, all we now need to do, guys, is uh, save it to our main save slot, just like so. We can actually delete this temporary one. And let's reload it, which should actually make everything perfect. Okay, guys, some of the things that we're now gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the wood right here, because we don't need it. Oh, here it is, baby! Oh, she's here! Okay, I'm gonna quickly just make sure select all. Collision is on. Anchor is on. And I resave it, so that way we know everything is clean. All right, now all we're gonna have to do, guys, because right here, right now, we have six of every single thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and i'm gonna delete the things that i don't want six of like for example a chair so we're gonna delete five of them one two three four five boom plane jet same thing one two three and same thing for the wheel and yeah you would do the same thing for like any other car or other thing that has mechanics in it so yeah currently what you might see is that maybe the chair is even like broken a little bit so uh, let's just make sure that that is linked currently it's not and let's link it to not s i used the wrong key <laughs> let's use f and let's do the wheel and that should be everything done now so what i can do is i can select all and set everything's transparency to 25%. And as you can see, nothing changed. Everything looks the exact same. But this isn't just any plane anymore. I'm actually gonna save it again. Now, if you look through any piece of glass with even the slightest bit of transparency, as you guys can see, the entire plane disappears. Oh boy, this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I think what we can actually do is we can actually use this kind of glass here. What we're going to do is we're going to paint it white, which already makes it super transparent, guys. As you can see right now, it's like super see-through, right? And then we can actually can do is we can turn it from 50% to 75, which makes it even more invisible. Like it almost looked like there's nothing there. Like it is almost not even like looking through glass. It's really cool. So now that we have our build right here, I'm actually going to once again save it because I'm paranoid about breaking anything. So here, let me actually set my match rotation to on and turn on anchor block again. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to place a glass block right here and I'm I'm gonna figure out the exact depth that is the maximum that we need so let's see it is about 12 studs like if we would place a giant block over it right now we could cover the entire thing let's see uh, let's make it 14 15 15 15 now obviously if we started flying around with this it would look super dumb because it just looks like a huge block in the sky so this is actually not what we're gonna do of course but we need to have these measurements so here 15 is the height which is the most important one so let's go to the absolute lowest point right here and let's do a little something like this we're gonna place a part right here that is 15 blocks high just like so and i'm gonna delete that right there actually i need to move it out a little bit make sure that's not touching anything for now all right i think with five pistons that should actually be enough and then all i need to do is connect this actually back to the build all right connect this together just like so so guys the most important thing is that you connect it back to the actual build i should probably do something stronger than wood <laughs> All right, let me do it with titanium. All right, just like so. Perfect. All right, save this. And then now, guys, it's time for us to finally start building our actual invisibility goal. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to select all of these parts right here, and I'm going to make them invisible. 100% invisibility, as well as collision. No, wait, sorry. Anchor mode off. Wait, actually, wait. I'm an idiot. I need to see what I'm doing while I'm working on it. <laughs> I can't build if I don't know what I'm building. Okay, use 75% transparency. Don't be an idiot like me. Oh my god, I went way too high. I only think I actually need three pistons now that I look at it. But that's easy enough to fix. Select all. Anchor it. So after one, two, three, we're going to delete this. We're going to just move this up. I really need only two. Oh my God. Way overestimated. All right. So this time I only have two pistons. I, I way overestimated earlier. So select all those and unanchor them. Oh, I did it the wrong way around, didn't I? Uh, let's pretend that never happened. <laughs> All right, extend those two, and that is perfect, guys. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So let's save this right now. And guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much build a replica plane that is kind of like a lower poly, a little bit less detailed version of this plane, but we're gonna do it up there. So currently, this right here gives us a bit of an idea of how big we're building. And guys, actually, fun fact, you can actually do this also with gold, because guys, gold, I think, is actually the same property as um, uh, glass. Yeah, you can also see through it just like that. Fun little fact for you guys. Pretty sure gold and ice are actually the exact same block, by the way. Way. <laughs> yep, it's pretty much the same thing. Well, you learn something new every day, guys. Gold? You want to you want to fake gold? Just grab yourself a ton of um uh glass. You want to look like the richest man alive? Well, there's a lot of gold right there, isn't there? Oh, it's a lot of gold. You just need one gold block to grab the color from. <laughs> there's no way. This is this would be so funny. And boom. <laughs> Dude, that is literally gold. All right, guys, for anyone that wants to know, 1773, 100, and you will literally have infinite gold. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, that's funny. But yeah, let's uh, let's work with uh, with glass because I, I like working with glass a little bit better. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure out exactly where it is that we want to build this stuff. So all of this is unanchored right now. So all I have to do is place myself a lever, just like so, and link it to the pistons. And if I flick it, I can very easily check exactly what height I need certain things to be. I'm gonna place a little bit of a place marker right here. That is the height of the wing, just like so, and move it back up. So that you can actually start building just like this. And for example, this right here should actually perfectly cover up uh, one of the wings. Yeah, look at that. You can go a little bit more precise though as well. So yeah, I'm, that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, you can really make it like perfect uh, if you're not an idiot like me. I just messed it up. Well, yeah, you can just fine tune a little bit. All right, let's see. Boom. That right there would cover it. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. All right, now I'm going to keep doing this for a lot more of the build. So let me actually get right off on with that. You get the idea. Uh, I'm actually going to match these curves and everything as well. And I went way over border on the sides, which I don't need to. So yeah, I'm really going to fine tune this and build this exact replica plane up there. guys so i just finished building the invisibility cloak and holy crap guys this is cool you can kind of see something really faint up there in the sky it might slightly resemble a plane because it is guys dude this is so sick let me up in the plane itself all right let me sit down and here we are baby let's freaking go and let's launch this plane and let me show you guys exactly how cool this really is so yeah here we're flying and you can kind of tell it's easier to tell from above but most people will be looking from below so as you can see if you're looking from below you can literally not see anything but guys all I need to do is press this one button and da -da -da -da! the entire plane has disappeared, dude. What? Dude, look at this. This is so cool. So I actually see that I missed a very slight little spot right there, but that's not that bad. Dude, that is so freaking weird looking, dude. That is so cool. And one thing I got to do is I got to invite some other players into the game so that I can impress them with my plane because uh, just flying around alone isn't quite good enough. You know what I mean? All right, guys, a bunch of people just joined the server and let's freaking go, dude. Oh, let's fly, baby. Let's go. Oh, we're going. Look at us fly. Wait, what are people saying? So what's going on? Um, nothing really. Oh, no, there's people trying to fight me. Three, two, one. Time to go invisible. Ah! Ah! Disappeared. Yes. Did he lose me? Now, the one thing that kind of sucks is that you can still see the trail uh, and you can still see me. But if I just do this, like, I mean, it looks it just looks like I'm floating there in the sky. I don't know why I'm here, but hi. Okay, people are trying to come to me. Disengage invisibility cloak. Hey! Oh, my God, dude. There's so many people flying around and stuff. It's crazy. Ah! Oh, someone's over there. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? There's just a guy right there flying, man. Okay, I, I, I want to disguise myself real quick. Ah! Nothing's going on, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dude, it's actually such a cool transition, guys. Like, look at it. Invisible, visible. Invisible, visible. Like, it's so cool looking. I love it. All right, I'm going to jam this thing now. I've had enough of it. Time to kill it. I think I was just... <laughs> I just almost killed the thing. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a it's a chicken. Oh my god, guys, look at the chicken. Oh my god, no, I ran out of fuel. <laughs> Well, guys, with that, I'm going to be ending off this video. Guys, if you haven't already liked the video, please, 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 if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would so much appreciate it. Like, I can't even express to you guys. Like, it would, be, I would, it would mean the world to me. We're on our way to a million subs, which is the most mind-blowing thing ever. So, yeah, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.